Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Scott and welcome to the Fandom Pastor, which can be found on our YouTube channel, Facebook page, or podcast. The Fandom Pastor is for all of us who love our fandoms and our faith. Fandoms are anything that somebody has a deep love for. Harry Potter, Broadway musicals, cult films, to name just a few. Join the Fandom Pastor as we see how God is connected to it all. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the Fandom Pastor. We are starting a new series this week. So the clue from last week was this comic strip ran its original run from 1950 to 2000 and is in reruns uh, still to this day. It also has holiday specials that are played every year. Now, this is still one of my favorite comic strips, and I still look forward to the holiday specials every year. There's just something special about watching them on TV as they come on. And so, of course, I'm talking about Peanuts. And of course, Peanuts strip was written by Charles Schultz many, many years ago, back in 1950, of course. And, of course, the main character was Charlie Brown, the, the main character who was lovingly referred to as the Blockhead. Uh, and this was the character that Schultz actually wrote based around himself. Now for this series, I want to share an attribute or, or an idea that I think stands out for each character. I want to share with you Romans 12:12, 12, 12, where it says, Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. And so for me, I see Charlie Brown as the optimist, the great optimist of this group. And so I ask you, do you want proof of that? Well, think about playing baseball. His team never wins a game, but he always goes out to play with all his might, thinking this time we'll win. He encourages his teammates, even when they're down really far. He says, come on, guys, we can do it. Or even better, think of the dreaded football. Time and time again, Lucy held the football for him to kick. Now granted, that was the not the first time it happened. It was not Lucy. See if you can figure out who was the original one to pull it away the very first time. But it was eventually came down to Lucy, was always the one that held the football for him to kick. And every time, she pulled away. And, and in a way, this is sort of a metaphorical level as well as to illustrate the ongoing struggle of life and how we we have to endure and not lose sight of hope in the face of adversity you see charlie brown never didn't try he was always trying always going he did get down yes but it was simply the the flip of a switch and he was back up Interesting to note, Charles Schultz said he was sad to end the comic strip without Charlie Brown ever kicking the ball, although he also stated that having him actually succeed would be a disservice to the character. The point is that we need to approach life optimistically. We need to be patient in tribulation. We need to rejoice in hope. We need to be constant in prayer. We need to be always looking for the positive in life. If God is for us, who can be against us? So join me in a couple of weeks as we continue our new series. And here is my clue for next time. This was an interesting little clue. This is the only Peanuts character with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Thanks, God bless, and catch up with you next time.